We started it in 1979. We just started as a hobby, just something for my wife to do. That's how, and my son, you know. So anyway, that's that's about all there is to it, how we started it. And it just continued. Didn't expect it to keep growing, but it did. I've been coming here since they opened because we would come to the movie house next door and come here right afterwards. Or I'll say we were going to the movies, but come spend the money here. So um, ride the bikes all the way from Southside up here every weekend. And now I have brought my daughters. Now they're 21 and 19. They have their own boxes. And my granddaughter now comes and she gets her collection there too. Yeah. The young generation, they all, uh, they, when we started, that's the beginning of it. They all was, kids all were interested. So every kid in Stockton would come through the store here all through the years. And, th and they grew up, now they got kids and they're bringing them in. And then some of them, when they had to move out of town for their jobs, and when they come back to town, they always come by the store for their memories. Uh, we would run at recess and we would run over here and, and, and we'd, hang, we'd hang behind here so nobody could see us and we'd flip through books a little bit until our teachers or moms came and pulled us out. I think this is amazing, man. This place is like a really good community. I like everyone here. Everyone's so friendly and nice and there's so much stories to share here. I always like to talk to random people. A lot of random people like talking to me, so it's really good for the community. My first actual big piece is right here on the wall. That was the one thing I actually am pretty proud of because I wasn't really into drawing as much as I am now because it was more of a hobby. I was always been helping me with my artwork and he's always been giving me connects and I always meet a lot of people who are always interested in my art, so I actually met a lot of people throughout. You know, I first came into Al's you know, probably at least 25, 30 years ago. Uh, he's been here over 35 years, uh, 37 I think, and so uh, you know, it, it, it's he's been here forever. And, and uh, he and Mike have uh, you know built this great uh, place for people to come and enjoy comics in this area and and other types of pop culture things as well. Stockton Con started uh, in late in 2011. Um, it was something where we were just kind of trying to do something where we could help the community and really bring another event into town that, that would give people something to kind of go to. Al and, and Mike from the beginning have been very involved in, as far as like just talking about like maybe things or giving suggestions have been a great sounding board for us. Uh, you know they were the first uh, shop to agree to sell tickets which is great and and they've been a real big part of just kind of the like the backbone of Stockton Con if you will. My aunt was driving us down the road and uh, I immediately saw the, the sign outside and I was like, Al's Comics, I want to stop, you know. And my aunt pulled over and um, here I am running in and it, it's, it's so cool because it, it hasn't really changed at all. Like the, the comics are still right here on this shelf, you know, where they've always been since I was 10 and I'm 39 the next month. And um, I bought Ghost Rider number seven here and I purchased it. And, from that day forth, it was almost like throughout my entire youth, my teenage years, early 20s, I would come here to purchase comics and visit Al and his son Mike, and they've, they're so great. They're like great people, and you know, it, it touches me. I even moved away for a little while, um, about 10 years, and came back, you know, and he still remembered my face and my name, and he, um, you know, I was going and going through a rough patch in my life that time, and that's when he, were, you know, Al told me he's all say, hey, I remember you when you were 10 years old. You came here with your aunt, and you bought Ghost Rider number seven. He told me, and that touched my heart because you know that, that that he remembered that about me. It just goes to show how much he cares for the people who come into his store. I like comics, and, and I enjoy talking to people all day, and you know, because they like their entertainment. And, it makes your day go by great. It's not always that a business has that, that type of, I, I guess, ambiance or atmosphere. So this place has had it for years, and I've always felt like this was a place where I could escape. And it gives that to, I think, a lot of people. So. It's you know, more of a Stockton legend than anything. Um, you know, and obviously, it's a great place to get all kinds of things, comics and 
you know, toys and that sort of thing. You know, if people haven't visited Al or Mike, you know, you know, you, they have to. This is definitely a gem, a hidden gem in this town. This, this store, this atmosphere, the men here who run it, because they're, they're friends, they're good friends. How long do you want to keep doing this? As long as I can do it. There's no reason to hang anything up. You just, if you could do it, you just keep working the rest of your life. It's not much fun sitting in a chair watching TV like a couch potato. <laughs>